Dear friends, welcome to my video. In today's video I want to talk about chlorine gas and also make some experiment with them. We will prepare chlorine from common table salt and little bit of chemistry. Chlorine was used in first world war as war gas because chlorine is dangerous and poisonous gas. Chlorine is also used for making PVC pipes or for bleach. Chlorine is used in many products. Chlorine have nice yellow color and specific smell and it can be found in salt. Chlorine can be found in periodic table here in halogen element group. Now for the video. So let's get started. Hi, I'm Electroni and this channel is all about electro, chem and science experiments. Subscribe to this channel now if you don't want to miss any future video. In this chem video, as I say, we will be making chlorine gas from table salt. But be careful because chlorine can easily kill you if you will breath in too much. So always have open window or make preparation outside. Chlorine is denser than air, so it stays at the floor. For today's making chlorine, we need two graphite rods. I get this from eBay, link is in video description. But you can also get one from pencil. Small plastic container some cables, plastic bottle to store chlorine, hot glue or silicone, some power supply, I use 3.7 volt lithium batteries in series, but you can also use old laptop power supply or 9 volt batteries. And finally some table salt and also source of water. Start by making two holes to plastic container for graphite rods. Then insert them into it, like this, but leave 1 cm of rod out of container. Then secure it with hot glue or silicone. Then connect wires to them. Red wire represents plus and black minus. Is important. Place container on top of something like this, for connecting wires from bottom. When that was done, mix salt with water about 3 spoons for this container and pour it into it. Then take our bottle and fill it with 1 tablespoon of salt and also water and secure it with lid. Then immerse top of bottle into water like this. Then remove lid under water and slide it over graphite rod that is connected to red wire like this. And it's done. Now only left to give it power. So I connect our electrolyzer to power. Red wire to plus and black to minus. And as you can see our electrolyzer starts working. On the negative side you can see more bubbles, that is hydrogen. And on positive side is forming our chlorine, that is filling bottle. In my previous video I show you how to make hydrogen and oxygen gas with the same method. So how was this method different and why make chlorine instead of oxygen on positive side? It's because carbon is inert, so chlorine can escape instead of making some molecules with metals. Here you can see electrolysis of salty water. Salt contains chlorine and sodium. So, where sodium disappears? Simply, sodium reacts with hydrogen and oxygen and make small amount of sodium hydroxide on negative rod. Now for the experiment. Once your bottle is filled up with chlorine like this, make sure you have some little bit of water inside bottle like this. Disconnect power supply and put gloves on to your hands. Then slide bottle down from rod like this and leave bottle inside water. Then secure it with lid and when you close the bottle you can take out bottle from water. As you can see our chlorine have nice yellow color. Now shake bottle for reacting chlorine with water. When you shake it chlorine reacts with water and make acid. 
You can also fill a whole bottle with chlorine and then add a little bit of clean water. It can work better. For now, as you can see, I move outside. I have here old t-shirt and I will pour our homemade bleach onto it. After 5 or 10 seconds we can see the scoration. And here you can see final product. It worked like common bleach from store. It's cool, we made our homemade bleach only from salt and electricity. Check my web for more videos and also check my games. And also you can support me here. I hope you too enjoy this video. And if you want to see more, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And I want to see you next time.